The point is, is on her merits, Allison Levine from San Francisco should be measured. She was born with a life-threatening condition that kept her from going upstairs, let alone climbing a mountain. Our true champion had two cardiac procedures to correct it when she was a teenager. And then at 32, she started climbing, and this woman did not stop climbing. Allison Levine is her name, and this young lady, as we said, has done it all. There she's appearing on Good Morning America, and she has scaled the highest peaks on all seven continents, skied to both the North and South Pole. Also served as team captain for the first American woman's Everest expedition. Also teaches at the United States Military Academy at West Point. If you want me to keep reading your credits, we won't have time to talk. Allison Levine is one of the few select Americans to complete the so-called Adventure Grand Slam. Yeah! That is when you reach the highest peak on all seven continents and you ski both to the North and South Poles. You're talking hundreds of miles in grueling conditions. It's estimated fewer than 30 people have done what she has done. Wow! When people ask me about the most challenging peak I've been to, I tell them about this peak here. It's a peak called Karsten's Pyramid. Okay, and it's in this place called Irian Jaya. Well, there was this really strong separatist movement going on back then because Irian Jaya was unofficially controlled by Indonesia and they wanted independence. So there was all this war and craziness and fighting going on. And so I, I decided during my fall break that I would fly over there, not realizing that they were killing tourists at that time. So I went over there and I went to get my climbing permit and the guy said, I'm sorry, you know, it is impossible. You cannot climb Karsten's Pyramid. It is much too dangerous. And I said, come on. You know, I just used 60,000 frequent flyer miles to get here. You have to let me climb. And he said, I'm sorry. You know, it is absolutely impossible. Nobody is allowed in that area. It is all shut down. And I said, come on. There's got to be a way. And he said, I'm sorry. It is impossible. And I said, impossible? And he said, well, OK, maybe if you had, like, the Indonesian army to escort you safely. <laughs> So this is me with the Indonesian army. <laughs> and uh, I actually got these guys to escort me safely to the base of Karsten's Pyramid and became the second American woman to climb it. And, thanks. Thanks. The um, first American woman was booked for something else today, so she couldn't be here. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so I, I climbed, and for me, it was just a, a great example of not letting people tell you that something's impossible or that something can't be done. What you have to be aware of is just that it's up to you to find a way. The expedition where I actually learned the m more great lessons about business and about life was the American Women's Everest Expedition. And this was a climb that took place in 2002, and in 2001, I got a phone call asking me if I wanted to serve as the team captain for this group. And when I first got the phone call, I just thought, no way. You know, I, I just felt like I wasn't good enough and I wasn't experienced enough, and I just wasn't ready to take on that kind of challenge. Well, then I ran across this quote, actually, which is one of my all-time favorites. And it's a quote from the first woman to ever climb Everest. Her name's Junko Taibe. She's from Japan. She reminds us that technique and ability alone aren't going to do it, right? It's willpower that plays a huge part of getting to the top. And I still felt like I didn't know if I had what it was going to take to get up that mountain, but I knew if I didn't step up to the plate and try that I would never find out. So Jody and I were out in front from the rest of the team, and we just crossed this one ladder. And all of a sudden, we heard this sound like this big moving freight train or something. And so we, t we turned around only to see 10,000 tons of ice. This massive ice wall was coming, crashing down. And we absolutely freaked out. And we thought for sure we were going to get killed. We were going to get crushed by this big you know, ice wall coming down. And so we tried to figure out how to get out of the way so we wouldn't be crushed. But you can't run in that ice fall because there are all those crevasses and those ladders everywhere. So we were frightened out of our minds, and there was a video guy there from National Geographic, and he saw us freaking out, and he looked at us, and he just said, whoa, 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 don't move, don't move, stay where you are, stay right where you are. So Jody and I just kind of hugged each other and stood there, and we were, you know, shaking and crying and hyperventilating. And the whole ice crumble came to a stop 
about four feet from us. That's how close we were to getting killed. It was really scary. Like, clean up on aisle four kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. So, the crazy thing is, we were so close to getting killed. So I look at the, uh, the video guy, and I look at him, and I said, oh my gosh, how did you stay so calm? And he looked at me and said, oh, I knew it was going to be okay. And I'm thinking, how could he know that, right? Because he was almost crushed in that ice fall, too. He came just as close to getting killed as we did. And the funniest thing, about a month later, he wrote this article about the day the Kumbu ice fall collapsed. And I was laughing so hard when I read it because he wrote, Jody and Allison panicked and looked for somewhere to run, but I urged them to remain calm because I knew for sure we were all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and there was nothing anybody could do about it. If I have to kind of sum up all of the lessons I learned in the mountains on all of my climbs, this is really, I think, the image that represents that and that is ingrained in my mind. And the, the image you see there, that triangular shadow, that is the shadow of the summit of Mount Everest. And for me, that picture is just a reminder that there are always going to be more mountains to climb, right? You are never done climbing. But you have to get out there and challenge the peaks. And you have to be willing to weather the storms to really learn to appreciate this kind of view. Thank you so much for having me today. It was an absolute honor to be here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right back.